Hey guys, Dr. Curran here. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button so you're the first to see my new videos. Today, I'm gonna to share with you 20 weird medical facts that will blow your mind. The longest hiccups lasted nearly 69 years. When Charles Osborne started hiccuping in 1922, he didn't stop until 1990. Charles Osborne hiccuped non-stop for 68 years and almost 69 years. And the worst part, he wasn't even doing anything to trigger his decades long hiccuping. He was just weighing a hog before slaughter and it started. Initially, he started hiccuping 40 times a minute and in his later years, it slowed to 20 hiccups a minute. And after decades of hiccuping, he managed to live a hiccup less life for one year before his demise in 1991. The human body can truly be a disgusting place. Did you know that you swallow 365 cups of mucus in one year? That's 22 gallons in a year. If you thought that was bad, when you sleep in your bed, you sweat 26 gallons of the stuff per year. That means an average person sweats one cup of sweat in their bed per day. Now, men of a certain age group will be very well versed with this certain drug, Viagra, but did you know that it can help wilted flowers as well as wilted male organs? If you dissolve Viagra in water, it can make cut flowers stay erect too and can keep them straighter and erect for a week longer than usual. Now this one truly is weird. Did you know that in the United States, a hundred people a year choke on pens? I should say pen caps. So don't chew your pen lids. Now this high choking rate actually triggered the pen company BIC or BIC to change the design of their pen lids to having the little holes on top. So this means even if someone swallows a pen lid, they can still breathe. Now I hope this fact doesn't ruin your Christmas. We all love a little bit of nutmeg sprinkled in with our hot chocolate in Christmas. But did you know that nutmeg can be poisonous? It may seem unlikely, but in certain amounts, nutmeg can be fatal to humans. Compared to other plants and herbs, nutmeg contain higher levels of a compound called myristicin. Consuming more than one teaspoon of nutmegs can result in wild hallucinations, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, as well as an abnormal heartbeat, and consuming any more than that can result in organ failure. Now this one is weird. Did you know that from the day you're born until the day you die, your eye size remains the same? But interestingly enough, your noses and your ears never stop growing. Now this one probably won't affect me too much because I don't like carrot juice, but did you know that if you consume 10 gallons of carrot juice, it can kill you? This is because the vitamin A content of that much carrot juice can cause brain swelling and inflammation, cerebral edema. That's because the vitamin A content of that much carrot juice can cause brain swelling, cerebral edema, and can cause other complications leading to death. Now, if you're an arachnophobe or you're scared of spiders, it probably won't appeal to you. But in ancient times, in ancient Roman Greece, they used to use spider webs as bandages for wounds. Supposedly spider webs have antibacterial and antifungal properties, which helps to reduce the rate of infections from wounds. It was also said that spider webs were a natural source of vitamin K, which helps to promote blood coagulation or clotting, further helping wound to heal. Now, the human body has a lot of bones. You probably won't look at your feet in the same way again. A quarter of all the bones in your body are in your feet. In each foot, you have 26 bones and 33 joints. So out of the 206 bones in your body, 52 are in both your feet. Now this fact is gonna make you feel about this big. Did you know that a human could swim right through a blue whale's veins? Now this one is straight out of the horror books. There used to be a family that lived in Kentucky in the USA that had blue skin. No, I know what you're thinking. These weren't the real life Smurfs. The Blue Fugate family of Kentucky had a genetic condition passed on due to interbreeding called methemoglobinemia. This is a very rare genetic condition that turns the skin blue. Now we can probably all agree that the Romans were a truly pioneering civilization and a truly great empire. But some of the stuff they did weren't quite conventional. They used to clean their teeth with urine. How's that for organic toothpaste? Sometimes your human body is just cosmic. There are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in your body. 
Now, if you took out all the blood vessels in your body and laid them end to end, they would stretch over the entire world two times. If you're anything like me, you struggle to wake up in the morning, which is why I always rely on my alarm. But what did people do before alarms? They used to be human alarm clocks. They were called knocker-uppers. Knocker-uppers originated in Britain during the time of the Industrial Revolution. When people needed to wake up and get to work, it was the job of a knocker-upper to take a long wooden stick and knock on the door or window to wake up the person. Speaking of sleep and work, did you know that napping is actually allowed at work in Japan? In Japan, napping at work is actually seen as a sign of diligence. That's because you're thought to be working so much and so hard that you're exhausted and need to sleep. The Japanese call this inemuri. They call it present but sleeping. For some strange reason, I don't think my boss would enjoy this. Laughing is always good, but this is one time laughing wasn't so good. In 1962, a laughing epidemic in Tanzania caused 12 schools to close down. What initially started with a few schoolgirls chuckling ended up being a year-long mass hysteria causing several nearby villages to close down. Symptoms of the laughing epidemic included crying, fainting, rashes and pain. And towards the end of the epidemic, 14 schools had closed down. Women often say that they can survive without men. This probably isn't quite true. They probably need at least one man to survive. That's because one man's sperm can impregnate every woman on earth. In just two weeks, a single human male produces enough sperm to impregnate every fertile female in the world. So I guess that makes most of us pretty useless. You've probably all seen those samurai films where someone's head gets decapitated and blood squirts in the air. I'm thinking Kill Bill. This is one time where Hollywood may have it just right. The human heart contracts with enough force to squirt blood 30 feet in the air. We all like trees, but did you know that trees could grow in your lungs? In 2009, doctors found a fir tree growing in the lungs of 28-year-old patient Artyom Sidorkin. What doctors initially suspected was a tumor was actually the sprouting seeds of a fir tree. Did you know that people in New England, America in the 19th century thought that tuberculosis was because of vampirism? The 19th century was the height of the New England vampire panic. During this time, people thought that consumption, the earlier word for tuberculosis, was spread by vampires. People would even dig up patients who died from tuberculosis and stab them through a stake through the heart. Guess they weren't fans of Twilight. Hit the subscribe button if you want to catch the latest videos. If you want me to debunk any more weird medical myths or cover any more topics, comment below. Hope you enjoyed it.